Um, I know that you talk a lot about living an inspired life and uh, relationships is a big part of life, right? And um, you talk about uh, understanding what your values are and, and being able to find out what somebody else's values might be and how to communicate in this style of their values. Could you tell us, like, how does one find out what another person's values are without actually getting them to complete a questionnaire or something like that? <laughs> like on the first night, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> well, what sort of questions do you, do you generally ask to find out what someone's values are? You know, it depends on what type of relationship dynamic they're in. Sure. Whether it's social, business, personal. I don't think it's disrespectful to if you sense that there is going to be some degree, duration to the relationship, to let them know that, that many times in your past, you've developed relationships and didn't always understand what was truly important to the individual, and sometimes didn't communicate as effectively and respectfully as you had hoped. Mm. And one thing that you have learned is that if you find out what is important to the individual, what's really what they're up to, what they're dedicated to, it really does help in having a lasting relationship. And mm -hmm. that this relationship that I would have with this new person, I would prefer to have a lasting one, a sustainable one. Mm. So if I was to ask some questions to get to really know what's really meaningful to you and how I might be able to help in any way in the fulfillment of that, would that be asking too much? I would just ask him. Mm. And then ask him questions and create a dialogue. Mm -hmm. And you could ask the value determination questions indirectly in different mm -hmm. ways. Mm. But anything that would allow you to find out what they're really up to, what their life really demonstrates objectively, is going to assist you in more effectively communicating in those values. Yeah. And so let's say, for example, that um, you know somebody has a value for a healthy lifestyle. They value family. Um, they value fitness, for example then how do you use that information to communicate effectively with them? You know, um, how, do you, how do you use that information to be more influential, I suppose? About 40 years ago, 41 years ago or so, I, I, um, I was very much, it's been about 42 years since I've been studying values. And about 41, 40 years ago or so, I started doing clinical work. And I noticed that patients would fill out a case history form and tell me that they had this particular condition or health issue. And I learned if I was to just go by what they claimed was their reason for being there, I found that that was not always the case, the reason why they were there. So I learned to ask a question, um, what is this condition keeping you from doing that's extremely important to you that's now brought you to the office? Because I see here on your history that you've been here or had this condition for four or five months and you're just now getting care. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's not the condition with the symptoms of the condition, or you would have thought either they had, it was gonna go away and it hasn't gone away, or it's interfering with something that's important to you. What is that? And they will say something like, well, my shoulder pain has been happening, and, and yesterday I was uh, driving on the freeway and I was getting on an on-ramp, and I couldn't mm -hmm. turn my neck and my shoulder was sore, and because of it, I, I had a blind spot and I almost ran into a truck. Mm -hmm. And I said, so now it wasn't the pain in the shoulder that brought you in here. It was actually that you were afraid that you were going to drive. And now you say your kids were in the back seat. You're afraid you're going to kill your kids. Mm. So what was really important to you is your children's health and security, mm. safety. Yeah. So you came here because of that. That was really the driving force. So yeah. I learned to ask questions that were not really obvious to people. Because mm. sometimes they would talk about things and not really get to what was really important to them and try to ask questions and probe into what was really driving individuals um, subtly over a period of time, if I knew I was gonna see them over a period of time, mm -hmm. or more direct, yeah. uh, and ask permission if I get to know them that way. Because mm -hmm. people don't disrespect you for asking questions when it's about their life. Yeah. They, they, that's the primary thing that they love talking about. Yes. So if you ask questions about, tell me more about it, how did you do, how did you start this, how did, where did you do, what's the challenge you face, mm -hmm. and just start, start asking questions you can gather data that can help you identify what's really important to them yeah. and then more effectively communicate in a way or offer product, service, or ideas if you're in sales mm. in a way that they get those needs met. 